I don't think I'm mentally prepared for this. Are you ready? He's being camera shy. So I've just checked and apparently it's been six years since I've done a dedicated Primark haul. I really think I'm having a quarter life crisis at this point. I asked on Instagram if I'm too old, if I'm past it, if you wanted a Primark haul and the majority of you said yes. So here we are. Really, you're just validating my shopping habits. You're making me feel better for spending money, but I did some damage. Oh, we can't forget to pose for the thumbnail. Honestly, I feel like I've gone back to my uni room. Let's do it. By the way, there's some really cute like homeware and kitchen bits. I took a load of photos. I'll make it into a TikTok. I'll link my TikTok here. But if you like colourful vibes for summer, I was in heaven and I really had to resist. I didn't fully resist. Two random things. I got this mushroom that is a little disco mirror ball because I have a mirror ball that I made for myself in my living room and I feel like it needed a friend. Three pounds. I got a metal giraffe. How much was this? Five pounds. Bit spenny for the size of him, but my mum's obsessed with giraffes, so it's just a little love gift for my mum. So mum, when you're watching this, you've got you've got another giraffe to collect. <laughs> this piece is Marmite to me. I feel like I did I I don't know if I love or hate this, but then I was like, I could wear this with these jeans, wide leg, light blue denim jeans, and it could work, but then also is it giving old lady but then that's a fashion now isn't it i don't know but i really like this i got a size 12 to 14 and it was 13 pounds i'm nervous about this i've actually never worn anything like it but we're trying to be a fashionable queen here okay it's not as it's not like boxy i thought it would be quite loose fitting maybe i needed to size up i don't i don't know do I need black jeans on? Hang on, I'll put some black jeans on. Okay, I think we're getting we're getting a bit better. Is it giving monoboob? Like, I don't know. It should be cool. Like, these aren't the right jeans. Is it awful? I honestly don't have an opinion. Maybe the... Gus is literally having a shit right now. That boy has no shame. I kind of hoped it'd be, like, loose. I don't know. I need your opinion on this one. Completely contrasting to that, I then saw these just, like, linen shorts, like an olive green colour, really lightweight material. It's definitely not the weather for this anytime soon, but I love green, as you can probably tell. These were £7. I got a size large, 14 to 16, and, yeah, uh, I apologise in advance for you having to look at my pale pale legs. Editing Alice here. It was at this point I accidentally turned the microphone off so from here on out you're gonna get a absolutely thrilling voiceover. Sorry about that. I'm trying to be professional and it, I make it very clear that I'm not every time so apologies about that but let's continue with the video. Once again huge apologies for having to see my very pale legs but I actually really like these shorts. They're really lightweight not sure how long they'd last, but so comfy, easy to slip on on holiday. You could even like wear them by the pool or something, but loved the colour. Definitely would be interested in picking up these in other colours if they have them. You know when you've gone shopping and you feel like you've picked up loads and then you get home and you do like a fashion show for your family and actually it doesn't feel like that much? That's what's happened. I thought I was in there for ages. I thought I picked up so much stuff, but here I am. Once again out of my comfort zone. I've got, and I'm very late to this trend, a denim midi skirt. And I actually ordered one of these a while ago, like right as that trend was kicking off. But the waist was really gappy because I got a big bum and then a small waist and it's hard to find anything that fits. So I thought for 15 pounds, I got a size 14. I'm gonna cross my fring fingers. I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope that I can make this look nice. I don't know. Here I was telling you that I was nervous that this wasn't going to fit. Being quite brave filming myself in my underwear again after my previous experience of accidentally doing a nip slip online. But this is the denim midi skirt and you know what? To my surprise it actually fit lovely. The material had like a lovely stretch. You know when you get denim that's obviously like not just pure denim. But I feel like it works. The bum looks great. Um... <laughs> I was making sure to show you the bum. But now I'm stuck. What do I wear this with, please? Like, how do people style this? I feel like it works. That slit on the back. Just got to make sure it doesn't ride up or you'll be seeing my butt crack. But, hey, that rhymed. But 
yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Considering the previous one I bought did not fit and was probably double the price for 15 quid, very happy about it. Then I got three basic vests. So I tend to wear stuff like this, like this is a little t-shirt or I wear like a cami. What I don't wear is racer back tops. I have never liked my shoulders and like the top of my arms, but I figured 2024 is the time for trying new things. I was clearly in an adventurous mood when I went to the shop this morning. Um, she says that she's holding a plain black vest. It's not that deep, Alice. It's really not that deep. But yeah, I'm gonna try this. And I always, always have like a top on like this, like a little shirt. So let's see how this looks. And again, this could go with what I'm wearing, right? I got a size medium and they were five pounds. I also got the white version. And then I got this one, which was six pounds. You can kind of tell this fabric feels a little bit thicker and more like hard wearing. <laughs> Not the right word, but you know. And it's just a black and white striped one. So let's see how all of these look. First little racer back cami thing. I think I like it, you know. It's literally the most basic thing in the world. I don't know why I was waking it up so much in my head. However, I do need to clip my bra straps together. So I actually decided the top might look a little bit better if I actually tucked it in properly. So here I am, chatting away, tucking it in. And I figured I would wear it with a shirt over the top anyway so I've put the shirt on that I've been wearing today anyway and it doesn't make me angry like I'm, I'm okay with it and to be honest I've spent years of my life avoiding racerbacks and I'm not sure why so yeah let me know what you think of this one you just need to ignore the bra it's I need a new nude bra but I think I've realized that I actually kind of wish I'd got cropped versions of these they're almost a bit too baggy like I'd like it to be a bit more fitted and sculpt in maybe I need to size down I'm not sure but yeah like front and back pretty happy with it and the quality is good I think maybe I've just picked the wrong size the last top and actually this one fits much nicer it feels more fitted I did say it was more what did I say like dirty the fabric I don't know but you can tell this one's made a little bit differently I don't mind it again maybe better with black jeans and a little cropped but I think I just need some styling advice guys what would you wear this with like I clearly am unaware but I'm not I'm not mad at it again and I think it kind of suits me Oh, I forgot about these. I've found some slippers. I have some very manky old Primark slippers, just like the sock kind of versions. So yeah, not much more to explain. One pair of slipper socks, memory foam, three pounds. That's actually really cheap. So on the shirt theme, I like a shirt. I saw this. At first I wasn't sure, but actually I feel like this could be really versatile. Here's me pretending I know anything about fashion. Um, I got a medium 12 to 14 because unfortunately they didn't have a large. Ideally I size up when I wear stuff like this, but I kind of held it up to me and it looks pretty oversized anyway. So we'll see. Just again, like linen, really loose, light fabric, 16 pounds, which is, is it spenny? I feel like it could be a little bit spenny, but I'm also very cheap. Just a staple, basic, to be honest, my boyfriend's probably got something exactly like this in his wardrobe that I could just steal, but, if I buy it for myself, he can't steal it in return. That's how it works. What's his is mine, and what's mine is mine. <laughs> okay, I absolutely loved this shirt. I know it's just a shirt, but you can see on my face how thrilled I was. The perfect size, even though it was a medium, so definitely oversized. If you pick it up yourself, just bear that in mind. Really lightweight, perfect for summer. I could wear it with shorts, and I think it worked with the white top and the jeans. Clearly, I'm very happy with myself. Gus is getting in the bag. I think this is his first experience of a Primark bag. If he fits, he sits. Hopefully you can't hear him rustling around on the mic. And then the last thing I picked up, ooh, this has actually got like green in it. Okay. So I saw this and I walked away from it. I also did the exact same thing to this jumper. I took a photo of it because I was unsure. I can't decide if it's awful or quite quirky. You tell me, I'm not sure. Uh, it was 22 pounds or something though. So I feel like it was a bit, a bit spenny for me to just buy it to see what happened, you know? So instead I went back to this. Now, again, I need your opinion because I feel like this is pretty much my skin tone, but I really liked the vibe of it. Again, like a linen-y cotton kind of feel. How much was this? 12 pounds, size large this time. And again, same principle, wear it over like jeans. 
even shorts in the summer. I've got a very basic predictable style at this point but I really like this so hopefully, hopefully I don't look invisible when I've got it on. <laughs> I'm not sure. And actually I'm okay with this. I need your honest opinion. Does this wash me out? I know it's so close to my skin tone so I just need to know does it make me look dead is exactly what I said when I in initially filmed this clip. Obviously this is not the outfit. I maybe try it better with black jeans. I think this works much better. I felt artsy vibes. I felt like a cool graphic design student. <laughs> Not sure where I was going with that. That's it. That's my Primark haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I did take a bunch of photos. I'm going to put them on my TikTok. So if you're not following me over there, I'll leave my TikTok here on screen. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below your favourite item. Honestly, this feels so weird. I feel like I've stepped back like five years of my life. Um, I'm now sat in my own house with my cat doing a Primark haul. What is going on? <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for the love and support as always. And I'll see you next time for another one. Bye.